dominating this Ah, boys are even like that. Very rare for the school. Famous. Look at my ass. I'm behind her. and today I'm sitting here with four homeless children in Benin City. I'm currently working with Melvin, we are documenting their life history. What brought them to the streets? So last week we were able to uh, get hold of three of them and they told us what brought them to the streets. And today they came with another friend with them and he has something to say about his experience. So what is your name? What brought you to the street? Why are you sleeping in the street? Unfortunately, Femi decided to be speaking from his inner voice. We stopped the camera several times to encourage him to speak louder. The other three boys told us that Femi is a very loud and well grounded in the streets. But he refused to speak louder during the interview. According to what he told us though, on one fateful day in Lagos, him, his twin brother, and few other students at his school jumped into a trailer truck after school, and the trailer did not stop until they arrived in Oluku. So all of them came down from the truck in Oluku and find their way to Bini City. His twin brother reunited with his parents through the help of a humanitarian worker, Odion Osaige. In fact, Femi's story was all over the place. Anyway, we decided to drop Femi from the group and proceeded with the rest three boys. Femi, what brought you to the streets? Why are you sleeping in the streets? I went to one college school, Lagos, because I went to the school. So after the school, I closed. Now, I went to the school. The gate was not the first to come out. Now, I went to the second class. So that is how you came to Benin, you and your brother. How long? How when was that? It's 2010. Said that you mistakenly took you and other kids mistakenly took that trailer to Benin. I think uh, we have to uh, contact the police. Maybe the police can help us to locate your parents because you can't. You don't want us to call the police. So what do you want us to do for you now? Uh, from what you said, you have you know the, the location of your parents, where they live in Lagos. And uh, we are using this opportunity to actually ask this question. Would you like to go back to them? Yes. Okay, yes, but not now. You enjoy the streets. Why you don't want to go now? Not, not at this moment. So, are you expecting anything in the street that is stopping you from uh, uh, reuniting with your parents? Okay, why you don't want to meet your parents now? Just tell us. Don't worry. Just tell us whatever you think. Huh? You don't have any reason? Okay, think about it. Next time, we'll get back to you, okay? Think about it. Think about what you want to do with your life. Look at me. Look at me. Think about what you want to do with your life. Do you want to remain in the streets, sleeping in the streets as a homeless boy, or you want to leave the streets? Okay, so join who? You don't want to join your parents. You want to live alone? You want to live alone? 
Tell me, just say some things. You want to leave it alone? Okay. Hold, just hold that. We will get back to you next time, okay? Right now, uh, the story of uh, Femi is very, very complicated. We are just putting his own story on hold for now. Then we will deal with these three boys because their stories we are very, very clear and straightforward. So, the children at night time, they will come here to see these patterns. They said that they will use it to cover themselves and uh, they will sleep on top of the stage. These clothes and everything that are for them, these are their properties. This is where they sleep. How many of you guys are sleeping here at night time? Okay, so according to what they are telling me now, they said several of them are sleeping in this area at night time. So these are their properties, their table bags, clothing, and everything. So they sleep here. They sleep on top of this stage. So that's all for today. Let's go to the other side. So today we are sitting here with uh, Mrs. Idowu Ogumola. She has been shattering homeless children in the city. Tell us about your experience. Uh, when I saw them on the street, so they were sleeping this outside here for some time. But I cannot be in while the children are outside. So that is why I took them in. So they sleep in my parlor. With this meat, your bag there. So they own these clothes. So they wash clothes. I made them. These are their clothes here. Yeah. Yes, these are their clothes. Okay, the, yeah, those, those, those ones. Oh, they are those ones. Oh. Yeah, and these ones too. Oh, these are their clothes. Yes, these are their clothes. Who are giving them the clothes? Who? Somebody else. Oh. So uh, they they now went out. They hustle. Mm. They will come back. They will cook. I will give them stove, give them pot, they will cook and eat their sleep. Thank you so much. So when when they break, they will not have their bath. So then I now call them. What are you going to do for a living? Because you cannot be on the street like this. I want you people to learn something. So the one of them, uh, his name is uh, Ima. So he said he want to learn how to wed. Then I now took him down to my church neighbor's place. Down this road in Aura Street. So that one is learning wed and then. Then the other one, Olamide, is learning mechanic. So he starts yesterday. Really? Yes, he's learning mechanic. So he now remains three of them. The three that remains now, that is him. And the two other boys. So I now ask them, what are they going to learn? So they should go and look for what to learn and where to learn that work so that I will go and write an agreement for them. Oh, so who is paying for the agreement? Mm. Allow me, they will call the father this morning. Mm. And he said it's not at all that they will be coming to this time. And yes, the man is in Benin. It seems that uh, his wife controlled that man. That is why he drove those boys out. You understand? Because uh, I'm sorry to say, because men nowadays, I don't know what is actually wrong with them. Because if they get a child from another woman, so the woman at home will be override them, then they will not misbehave okay. with those children. She's not the mother to the no, boy. That is the cost of a. Uh, Olamide is a problem. So the other one in my I'm going to pay for the agreement fees. Hmm. How much? The agreement fees. Hmm. But the 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 weather said there is twenty thousand that we are we will use for an agreement hmm. with some other juice. Then I said I cannot avoid uh, afford it. Hmm. That whatever I have I will give to him. So you said, uh, according to what you told me before, that uh, some of the parents came to pick up their children. Yes. From you. Oh. One came from Wari, Delta State. Oh, they were able to locate their children. Yes. So they took him here. Okay, and you are another one is in Benin here, Kennedy. So that one has gone with the stepmother. Okay. Then the two 
the two other boys born by the same parents. So that is why I don't allow that boy to come near to this street. He is aware. You know, I show you. So I said, because that two boys, they have parents. They have parents. So they now came here two times to collect those two boys. But they did not stay at all. You understand? And Don Osage helped the other one favor. He put him in school, pay school fees and everything. He refused to go to school. He went back to the street. That is why I said, I don't want to see him at all. Mm. Near my premises, I don't want to see him. Mm. It's hard to help them. Yes. Mm. It's very difficult to take some of the children away from the street. Very difficult. Very, very. Mm. Very, very. So, here. So, what's your name? Huh? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. So she has been helping you. Yes. What do you have to say about her? You, you like to say what? <laughs> so what do you want to do for her in the future? <laughs> come, come, come and tell us. Oh my god. So what do you want to do for her? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you did that in house <laughs> and buy her a car. Wow. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank God. People like you are changing the world, bringing positive change to the world. So, why are they uh, boys? Yes, any female among no. them? So, how come boys are dominating the streets? Ah, boys are even more than. Very rare before you see the females. I feel maybe is a stubbornness. Maybe they will not hear anything from the parents. The father will talk, the mother will Boys talk. Boys are most likely to be homeless you in this city. Right, maybe. Have you ever encountered any any girl in the street? I would like to ask you any last year. Uh, I, I came across four girls. On the street, yes, four girls on the street, and I asked them why they are on the street. They said, you know, relatively that uh, situation that actually led them from the street was from the home, you know, from the home, the usual domestic violence and all that. So there were four girls; they were actually hawking, you know, hawking to make a living. You know, like on the street begging, they were actually hawking to make a living. That's. It. The boys are dominating the homeless. Of course, of course. Okay, yeah. Look at him, so handsome. So the parents are doing what they need to take him back. I did not even know how to call this one to the parents. You do know that. Yes, one call me, Sister Tobia. Stand. Call Sister Tobia. Because it's only that one that. You don't know where your parents are. You know. He traveled down to the place sometimes in the No, village. No real one local Do you have money? You said something that you 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 took him to his parents. Is that what you said? No, it's my sister that took him to his parents. To his parents. And when you poor got there. What, what, what was the reason why they would have said I don't know. Where is she? So she will... Sister, come on. She's the one that took her uh, here. Yeah, she's the one that took him to the village. Sister Larry. Sister, please. Hello. Hey, police. Hey, police. Larry, get me now. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Okay, yeah, the one. Yeah, so she's the one that took him to So this place. you took this child to the parents in the village, right? What happened? How come they didn't uh, take him back? Uh, the grandma. So you didn't see the, the mom itself. Okay. That she was only to the where the mom collected. He said, Go, Apada, I didn't know her father. Okay. I don't know my okay. wife. The, the father and the mother. I didn't see the mother. I only see the grandma. Okay, the grandma didn't take him. No. 
What? Grandma said you have strength. Mm. It's too old. Yeah. There's no other family member. Any family member in that family. I try to know the both. Mm. 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 Please, what's the name of the village? Thank you so much for helping him even try to locate his parents, right? So, now that uh, you can't locate the parents, you I have cannot. to. So, you are going to keep him. Yeah. But he, That's what he, is yes. he promised to buy a car and build a house for you. <laughs> That's oh, what I can't wait for that dream to be fulfilled. Yes. Oh, God. So, what um, are you planning to do in future for homeless children? I don't have anything to do with them because uh, I have no money. I have no because I don't have it because it's just a sympathy and a motherly love that you have for them. Yes, that's what, that's what I have for them. Are you still planning to keep any homeless child in your place? No. Ah, oh, you're tired. <laughs> I can't. Then if you can get some help. If I can get some help, okay, better. We'll continue, right? I will continue. Because it's costing you a lot of resources. So thank you so much. And if thank we have you. any other thing to discuss with you about this children in the future, I will always contact you. Thank you. Okay? Hey, thank wonderful, you. wonderful, wonderful.